ba -na -na -na. Hello heroes, what's going on? Gaming out here, and today we're going to be playing even more Hooked on You, the Dead by Daylight dating sim. So let me unmute that game for all y'all. So I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, my day is going, it's going. My hours got cut at work, and today's shift felt super fucking long. So I'm glad to be home doing literally anything else. Anyways, yeah, let's go play. We gotta load our game from last time. The this one right here. Oh boy, serial dealer, come back for more, huh? So which one of these kills you love the most? Nice, I got an achievement for playing again. Yeah, sorry for that long a little Started getting stuff ready about a half hour ago, then I kept getting distracted. Like I had to get, get more water. Remember to hydrate. I can only hydrate if y'all tell me to though. <laughs> Soft sunlight warms your skin, nudging you awake. Also, you're using a killer crap as a pillow, which is sort of okay with. Pull your beach attire and splash water on your face. Dwight and Claudia approach. Is that their <laughs> look? Is that look on their faces excitement? Terror? You know it's your stomach floods with butterflies. Someone's in love. Or you've been infected with zombie butterflies in your sleep. It is. It has happened here before, but it's probably the love thing. <laughs> it's time. Claudia gestures over to where the killer. Hers all stand flanked by tiki torches. It's a scene very reminiscent of a TV show you used to hate watch when with your ex. So the message is clear. It said you're gonna declare your affections for a killer in front of several other killers. Hey, isn't Drexler supposed to be here? We paid him good money to make some half-assed cameos in this show. I'm gonna chew his agent out. But they walk over. They walk over. They walk over. They walk you over for your big moment. Okay, I can't read today. Don't think we, think we haven't noticed how kind you've been to us, Navi. That's what I've been? <laughs> I thought I was ignorant to your deeds and, you know, your needs and shit. Can't be easy being thrown to a mysterious island with seemingly no real reason surrounded by terrifying killers trying to manage your most primal impulses. Murder and making out. And you've kept a cool head and treated us, your friendly ho island host, with dignity and respect. So don't tell anyone we told you this, but... Glad and Dwight look around co conspiratorially. Just a little hint for you going forward. Don't try to go all the way with a killer who isn't into you. Relationships are a two-way street, and if you don't have a green light in the other direction, you might end up in the friend zone. The friend zone? That doesn't sound too bad. Where do you think? <laughs> where do you think you are exactly? Dead by Daylight doesn't do friends. There are killers and there's and there are survivors. And I'm afraid we can't say more. Okay, so who's into me? Let Dwight look around conspiratorially again. Well, I've seen the sparks flying between you and Huntress. I saw her whitt whittling a little figurine of you last night while everyone else was asleep. So are you ready? Of course you're not. But too bad, we're on a schedule. Yeah, love doesn't wait. I'm gonna go profess my love for the giant muscle mommy. <laughs> you make your way back over the row of hotties. Claudette and Dwight stand off side to side, hands behind their backs. It's been quite the 48 hours, but there are clearly sparks in the air. Now I'm not just talking about this rusty chainsaw, though I do recommend staying away from those sparks. <laughs> Time for a newcomer to confess their love. Wait, I have to do a drum roll for this. No, you don't. Who cares? Navi, who do you choose for your solo date? Can we at least do the flower thing? Dwight, I thought we agreed to keep that between us. <laughs> no, not that flower thing. The thing where the suitor gets a flower as a symbol of contestant's love and affection. And, oh, right, right. I suppose, but no roses. But no roses. They're a cliche at this point. Well, that's good, because I tried to pick a rose and I got an ouchie, so I settled for these. I love this game so much. Beautiful. You've done good, Dwight. This is a lovely bouquet. I have Dwight save some of these for Claudette. They're a thing, right? You get that vibe too? Just me? Sorry, sorry. You've got other things to think about right now. Navi, who do you who's like to receive the flowers and spend the day with today? Huntress. Turn to Huntress. She's never looked more appealing. Her, her captain dress ruffles behind her in the light morning breeze. A seagull lands on her shoulder like she's a beachy cartoon princess. She snaps a Sneagle's neck and stuffs it somewhere under the flowy dress. Probably to save for lunch. <sighs> she can't help but hunt. Oh, hi, Senbai! Hope you're doing a great. Hi. You gonna stop bitching at me, Milo? Icarus. Eh? Huh? Don't play this game? Don't play this game, stupid? My cat's here. He's busy whining at me. You wanna say something to the people at home? She's got stuff to say? Huh? That's what I thought. Yeah, suddenly I put you on the spot and now you don't want to talk. I love you, Milo, but you're a fucking mess. Maybe my cat gets involved. The stream gets completely derailed. 
Huntress, I choose you. Let's spend the day together and see if we can think of a future as possible for our love. Me? Really? Huntress throws her hands up in the air like the bear and gallop towards you. At first you think she might swipe at your gigantic hands. Or she might swipe at you with her gigantic hands and knock the life out of you. Instead she scoops you up into a hug and takes her place at your side. And she just stuck her tongue in oh, all the other killers. Sometimes the immature move is the right one. Agreed. <laughs> It's sure to be a fun day. We'll just be here. Not getting to really participate, even though survivors matter too. Why don't you go off and have a grand old time? Yep, just Claudette and I hang out. No one competing for our love. Wondering what we did in our past life to end up embroiled in this unrelenting misery. But go, have a blast. We will. I'm thankful for your encouragement. Huntress eagerly leads you to the yacht and be to begin your romantic day together. You have to admit, warm salty air on your skin, the sound of crashing waves. This is a pretty perfect morning. Just you and Huntress. <laughs> I'm going to sit. Hey. Hey, cuties. Ah, Ocean's here too. Did you know that I'm teeming with flesh-eating bacteria? And dead bodies? Eh? Uh? That pesky ocean. Always killing the vibe. You turn to Huntress. You sure you're okay here on the ocean? I know you don't like to be out in the open. Something about, something about being here with you makes me feel safe. You both sit down at a beautifully set table on the deck of the boat. A wide spread of mouth-watering breakfast goodies are arranged in front of you. Can we get you anything? You look a bit green. I get extremely seasick. <laughs> and tricks to replace all the island's Dramamine with party drugs. So... Wait, how did they get here? Weren't they just on the beach consoling the rejected killers? Are there... <laughs> are there more than two of them? Navi, YouTube knows I'm using ad blockers. It is beginning. Better be getting ready for... Oh boy, Skynet. That's gonna be fun times. The emotion one of them over. We'll both take a screwdriver. Hold the orange juice. Oh. <laughs> of course! Hey, can you play this particular song for us to set the mood? You hand Dwight a piece of paper with the song title written on it. Sure, though I doubt Trapper has it in his vinyl collection. Soon the haunting melody of Huntress's mother's lullaby streams to the yacht's expensive stereo system. The boat rocks, to the rocks as though to the rhythm of the song. The eerie, melancholy mood is really quite romantic. Breakfast has never been this intimate. Reach out to touch Huntress's hand when suddenly a loud bellow scares you. You knock your freshly, f your freshly poured flute of straight vodka on the pristine deck. He's trapper. He's screaming at us from the beach. Look how tiny he looks all the way from out there. Huntress squishes his head between her fingers like a child and giggles. Damn you both! The chairs you're sitting on are worth more than your lives! Get back here! I love this. He's not wrong. Hey, Claudette, take us out farther. Aye, Captain. Can she drive a boat? Guess we'll find out. Alone again! Nothing but the car of a seagull and the ominous shadow of a creature lurking beneath the waves. I have something for you. Oh? Is it a dead animal? I just feel a package wrapped in a bloody apron. Clap your hands like a kid on their birthday. Her playful attitude is rubbing off on you. I made that mask you asked for. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I, but I bet you didn't. This is the whole reason you pursued Huntress. I bet. Definitely to get a mask of your own. No other reason. Yeah. No other reason. Can't think of one. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, that actually looks fucking rad. It's perfect. You put it on. It fits your face like a... Face glove? You gaze at Huntress through the eyes of the mask. A swell of emotion surges through you. And because that mask is on your face, you can't be, can't be as creeped out by looking at it as everyone else who has to see you surely will be. <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> Let's go back to my place. She downs her screwdriver. Wait. What? That's not in the blue text. She just said... <laughs> she just announces... She downs her... What? Is this a glitch? Tension is palpable as you enter the cabin. You could cut it with a hatchet. <laughs> Give me a break. It's a three. It's day three of killer jokes, and Eric only has to do only has so much mojo. Hunter sits you down at the cluttered table in the kitchen. You notice the blood stains that have crept into every nook and cranny of the wooden planks. What poor creature died on this table? Did they suffer? What do you care if they suffered? Get back in. Get back in the ocean. Ocean. Stop backseat omniscient narrating. Stay here. Don't move a muscle or I'll hear it. I can hear any mammal's tendons creak as they stretch. It's a gift and a curse. I'll be right back. Ah, uh, alone in the cabin. 
What to do? What to do? Hmm. Tidy up. Clean up. Oh, no, I'm not singing that. I was about ready to subconsciously. Hunter's best killer. Change my mind. Agreed. You half expect a flock of adorable birds and cute little mice to come sprinting and help you, but they don't. Because this isn't some fancy. This is gritty. This is real. Plus, I'm pretty sure she kills all the adorable birds and cute little mice. So you put her around in the room yourself, organizing Huntress's various trinket collections. Old bottles here, discarded vintage doll parts over there, various keys that don't open anything in particular. Does she have a drawer filled with these? Everyone has a drawer like that. Then you lay a then you lay a blanket down in front of the fireplace for no reason, no reason at all. You're certainly not imagining all the naughty things that go down in such a blanket. What's that in her strong yet delicate hand? Reach out for her, longing to stroke her blood matted hair and scratched up shoulders. Thought we'd get warm by the fire. Hmm. She wags a finger at you, a bunny-licious smirk on her face. Oh, I like where this is going. Not so fast. Remember when we talked about how there's more going on here? You nod like a little idiot. Well, now I know something's up. The other night you were sipping like a little baby was stuck in the other killer's lairs and saw them um, with shiny objects that they've been stealing from me. I think they're connected somehow. Maybe it has to do with the symbol. I tried to go back last night, but something blocked me from picking any of the objects up. Someone or something knows I'm onto them. But if you try, it might work. What do you say? Will you help? Hells yeah! <laughs> Globe charting treasure hunt on the level of a Nicolas Cage masterpiece? You can definitely count me in! That's funny, because Nick Cage is actually in Dead by Daylight now. I need to pick that DLC up. Let's go. I'll be your guardian angel. You never know when the other killers might pop up. You grab Huntress by the hand and practically trip over your own feet on the way out the door. Feels good to have a quest. Thrilling. <laughs> but part of you is just wondering how quickly you can get through this and impress Huntress. Soon she'll take you in her yoked arms. You'll swoon. Your childhood crush on Popeye is making more and more sense. What? <laughs> That's a sentence. What did you want to start? Uh... There are four killers who have stolen from Huntress. You're not going to let them get away with it. Who, which one do you investigate? Uh, we got to go trap her first. We got to go piss up. We got to go piss him off even more. There are two ways to get the trapper's cave. Due to the whole, you know, trap-based character theme, he's not going to... He's got a, a going on. You can rest assured that either one or, or both of these are pathways are filled with traps. Not just her advice, but she only giggles and shrugs her shoulders. You're on your own, it seems. Underground tunnel! Underground, huh? Sounds secretive. No one can stop you. If they can't see you, that said, no one can rescue you if they can't hear you scream. You no know, one will need to waste any time burying you if you're already underground when you die. But you're not going to die, are you? That's not the plan. <laughs> Surely a dimly lit tunnel like this must be rife with traps. Have you managed to make your way along, distinctly uncaught by any traps, rusty, bare, or otherwise? I got this. You're doing great. You're not at all afraid? For me? Nah. Got to say, this is something... Uh, this... This up... Uh, this up there among the nicest, damp, and de seemingly abandoned tunnels I've ever wandered through. Look, it even has lights. Despite of Huntress's bravery, you dig deep inside yourself and summon courage of your own. Which is good, because you're going to need it if you're going to head through this very murdery, murdery looking passageway ahead. Joy. Ooh. You enter a humid, shadowy cave. Dripping water echoes all around you. It's definitely not cozy like the cabin you left behind. I'm gonna drink some water. I know no one's redeemed that tier yet, but I'm thirsty. And I don't know where Demogorgon pops up. That would be hilarious. How, how deep does that pool of shiny water go? Let's get this over with. As just to the darkness, you see he trapper. He leans against the wall of the cave like a detective in an old film noir. I knew you'd come. Trapper, get out of our way. I'll scare you and serve you for lunch. Waste your time. You'll find what you're looking for. Unless you're looking for it's a mini game. What? A mini game? How unexpected. How playful. How about you play it right now? Aha, uh -huh. well not yet. You can't stop me from saving the game. Ha! This is gonna be Fine, Huntress's shiny lost lost shiny thing. Peel them eyes. You're on the hunt now. Ready. Technically? Aha! Aha! 
Technically? Not bad, okay. Fuck, that was horrible. Okay, not bad. You found my shiny lost object! I'm so grateful I can kiss you right now! But I won't, because I'm pretty sure Chapel didn't actually leave it. He's still over in that shadow watching us. Later, Trapper, you thieving little perv. Hey, that's not fair. Not huge. <laughs> Come on, Navi. Let's hurry to the next place. A pen! You found Puntress's shiny thing, and... I think it's just a regular old pen. But we don't need to point it out. She's happy, and isn't that all that matters? Agreed. There are four killers who have stolen from Huntress. You're not gonna let them get away with it. It's yada yada. Which one we investigate? Let's go to Spirit. We'll go to Trickster last. This place is spooky as heck. Wasn't the beach sunny and beautiful just a moment ago? So you're telling me that your precious shiny thing is up there. It's pretty great, right? Finally, a good chance to activate these little quad these quads. You don't get lines like this from standing still. But you already know I love a good workout. Running, jumping, climbing. Rough housing. Ooh. Get that damn shiny thing before your miserable horniness melts your brain runs down. <laughs> oh, I fucking love this game. This game is flawless. For a moment, Trapper sounded like a really spiteful boss that's like, I knew you would come. I could smell your blood from all the way here. Well, here I am. Now let's settle this. Yeah, I call it out. It's obvious to everyone. Just own it. So shall we? That lighthouse, it's so dark you can barely see the step in front of you. But that's okay, because you've got about a hundred stairs to practice getting the hang of it in this dark. However, something about this gloomy place is really wearing you out and messing with your otherwise happy, horny aura. Practically feel your mood going down, down, down as you climb up, 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 higher into the lighthouse before you finally arrive at the top. Speed art, you looking pretty pleased with yourself? Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this whole being dead thing. Did you totally get sadder the closer you got to the top of the tower? That wasn't me, baby. I gotta, like, share the wealth. And by wealth, I mean unending despair. You're probably here for one of your precious shiny things that I've stolen. <laughs> Good luck finding it. I'll be over here reading if you need me. Let's find this shiny thing and anything to brighten the mood in here. Don't miss the treasure. This is a treasure. Oh boy. Save the game. Ready. Compared to low spirit sound. Not bad. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, oh, that was horrible. Eh, not bad. You're really, going a l you're really going a long way to prove your dedication to me. You know I noticed, right? I can see a raccoon lick itself from 200 yards away in pitch darkness. I can definitely see you working your little butt off for me. Okay, I want one of those. It That's not just any bottle cap bottle opener. That is a shark themed bottle opener, and that is the best thing ever. I want one. Hey, no, stop. Spirit doesn't even look up from her book. I think it'll be fine if you just peace out. Hey, no, stop. I feel like I should be giving Spirit like the voice of like Raven from Teen Titans, but I can't do that. <laughs> there are four killers, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, let's go pick on Wraith. Because poor little Bean hasn't gotten picked on enough in this game. Every Wraith's oddball hangout zone, you immediately understand why they call it the Cosmic Dump. They being me, Ops. It's as if the, there are items and elements from all over the universe in this space. Also, it's a damned mess, but it's undoubtedly a serial place. The very air you breathe makes you feel that you're part of something much, much larger. I'm going to hunt us some lunch while you find the object. You'll know it when you see it because it's extremely shiny. Uh, ah! How long have you been standing there? Are you ever really there? I don't think I have time for an existential crisis today, Ray. Huntress and I are totally going to get it, you know, get it on soon. I think. I hope. <laughs> Look, I need to find a special object you have hidden here. You stole from Huntress and she knows it. So you're trying to figure this whole thing out too, huh? 
Come check this out. Bit of subjective, a uh, bit of a subject change, but sure, it's Wraith we're dealing with after all. Wraith leads you to a telescope. Through it, you can see a far off island in the distance. Oh no! It's IP Island! Holy smokes, is that. Sorry, I actually have no idea what that is. Would you mind filling me in? It's IP Island. Where all the coolest killers of intellectual properties that were legally objected not to mention by name hang out and party with Hollywood celebs and Silicon Valley moguls. That's not even all. Zoom in. Over there. Here it comes. Ha 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 ha! Is that Ghostface? I said not to name them! Ah, jeez, I'm gonna clear the rights. You have no idea how much my lawyer charges by the hour. Um, I'm sorry, he just kind of popped up. I'm telling you, something crazy's going on here. I'll have you know, I wasn't trying to steal anything from Huntress. I was just looking for answers, but um, also occasionally losing said answers. Yeah, that's right, the thing you're looking for. I can't actually find, so... Good luck, I guess. Ah, Joy, that means it's minigame time. Well, from my memory, the spirit should be a dead teenager, young adult, so it would really fit. Okay. Good to know. Oh, good, a minigame. I haven't seen one of these before in the past 10 seconds. That's my joke. Fuck! Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Oh wow, that was surprisingly flawless. Okay, hold on. We're gonna load that save file. That was horribly executed. Oh, motherfucker. How's my reaction time that bad right now? Yeah, I should have gotten starting value, but Steam won't let, doesn't let me buy it. I hope you can figure that out soon, because Stardew Valley is absolutely worth it. I'll have to start a farm with you and Astra. Fuck. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna restart again. You know what? I'll just take it. Okay, see that? That's much better. I'll, I'll take it. I'll play Farmers all. I need it. I will absolutely hold your hand on that game. It's very easy to pick up and, up and play. See an old pair of glasses on the ground and quickly grab them. You found it! So shiny! I knew I could count on you, Navi. And that's saying something, because I literally never learned to count via any traditional system of numbers. Let's get out of here. It's hard to believe these old glasses really mean something special, but a lady like Huntress deserves whatever she wants. It's been a little moment imagining Huntress with glasses, but she wearing them over the mask or under? Good question. What do y'all think? Would I wear masks, glasses under the mask or over them? Hey, that's not just some junk. Those are my... Hey, those aren't just some junk. That's my reading glasses. I just subscribed to highlights. <laughs> Poor Wraith. That feels so bad for him. Trapper. Which one will you investigate? Go to Trickster Stage. Joy! You arrive at Trickster Stage, but there's no one here. There's not one, but there's no one here. Not Trickster, not an audience, not anybody. Nothing other than the empty concert venue. Think of all the fringe that once swayed here. The beards that sloshed over red solo cups. Mosh pits. Tall guy standing in front of you for the entire show. Lifelong friendships that accidentally lasted for one summer. Ah, <sighs> good times. My concerts are always an experience. You should really come to one of my after parties sometime. They're a real scream. I'll put you on the VIP list. I prefer the acoustic balalakia of music. I like that music. Trickster! I've never listened to that music and I think you think sampling the sounds of other people's screams is very... Been there, done that! Hey! No one talks to Trickster like that. And how do you know about my samples? Somebody's obviously a much bigger th fan than letting on. Some of our this shiny, mysterious object is, or I'll wipe that grit off your face with a chloroform drenched rag. <laughs> Way to harsh my mellow. Deranged violence and torture is only cool when I do it. Because it's my commentary in a shallow society, and I make it look sexy as hell. 
The thing majig is that away. Drags your backs away from you and resumes practicing an intricate dance routine. Okay, we're gonna save because this means mini game time. Don't join tricksters parties. It's probably a break if you wear under the mask. Okay. Well, you're still up that bootleg backstreet boy was wow. If it were, if I weren't so strong and stable in my feet, I'd swoon. But they it, but it just wouldn't be believable. Find me my shiny thing, champion. Ah, joy, here we go. I think I'm better when I'm using the space bar than, you know, pressing stop. I'll take it. You did it! Your ability to find the undefinable is quite uncanny. A natural hunter, I must say. Do you think you might be able to find your heart? I would hope so. It's very important to locate and remove all the internal organs of your prey as soon as you fall, f you fell them, so, so their meat doesn't spoil. Oh. Oh, what's this? You found a gold coin. Part of the lore: the trickster is only a killer because he found a beauty. People screams. Well, it's the easy psychopath. Yeah. Phew. That was fun and scary. Couldn't see other killers were taking their heartbreak in stride, more or less. And you got a really nice tour of some of the island's lesser known haunts. Haha! <laughs> Boom! Still got it. <laughs> we make a pretty good team, you and I. What can I say? I appreciate a fine collection. Now nah, yours is back in order. Maybe we head back inside to appreciate it. You collect a certain other special gift I mean to give you. A special gift? Is it shiny? I suppose it could be if you hold it up enough. You're gonna be ill. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I hate this. Astra, hi! Okay, when you enter the cabin, it's dark, barely lit. Tre deep shadows stretching from wall to wall. It somehow manages to be a little bit terrifying, but also a little bit romantic. But you barely even notice. You can get other things on your mind. Oh. Practically addressing each other as you walk through the door. Minds elsewhere, and neither of you realize that the door was wide open already. You are incredible. Every time you found one of the objects, my heart beat faster and faster. Your nimble hands. Is there anything they can't find? I'm more. <laughs> I need an adult. <laughs> the fireplace is cackling, crackling. Your heart is pounding. The smell of cinnamon in, is in the air. But wait. Who's that? Hey, who are you? I'll just quickly pulls her be her beach cover back on. Mother, my darling, an older Russian woman begins skirting with a striking resemblance to Hunter sits warming her hands by the fire. She turns to you and you're shocked to see that she appears to come in a completely different time in history, wrapped in old, unfamiliar clothes that are completely out of place here at this beach retreat. Without thinking, you blurt out, "Ah, the ghost! At least, who's this? What an honor!" <laughs> So I'm going to immediately cross off, ah, a ghost. But I go for the Russian or I go for what an honor? <laughs> no, we are adults, not even. <laughs> I don't feel like an adult. <laughs> uh, do I go for the Russian? Do I go for the honor? I kind of want to say honor is a smart choice, but at the same time... <laughs> I don't know what that Russian word is, so it could be very wrong and I could piss off Huntress for all I know. I'm gonna go with what an honor. What an honor, it's you! I can't believe this. You're the Mama Huntress, I'm gonna die to meet you. Well, nearly. Can I can I help you with anything? Glass of vodka? A hatchet for revenge on the elk who slayed you? Oh no, my child, I am quite content. Just happy to know my little darling is taken care of. Hunt Huntress chuckles nervously. Hey, Mama. Brian and Dwight burst in like they're in a prank video. Bet you weren't expecting this date to include meeting her mom. What? <laughs> <laughs> she got her ex out! <laughs> I love her! Hey Huntress, how do you feel about dear old mama coming to interrupt your date? Huntress throws a hatchet directly at the two survivors. It skewers the wall in between them without another word as they quickly scurry away. <laughs> Good girl. Huntress turns to you. I hope this is alright. Of course! Of course it's okay. I give... I give great parent. What? <laughs> I... What is that English? I give great parent. I don't... I'm so confused. 
What does this mean? <laughs> I give great parent. I get... I'm... I'm, st I'm not gonna... I'm <laughs> I have to move on from this, but I don't want to. Huntress breathes a sigh of relief. It's not the boat I thought we were coming back to. But now, but I'm here now, I'm in it, I'm ready to meet your mama. Thank goodness, because my mother is really the only person. <laughs> I mean, most important person in my life. We Russians invented tea. Did you know that? Mama Huntress shoves a cup in your hand, and as you drink tea with her, the air becomes warmer on you. You, Huntress, and her mother sit by the fire and exchange stories and anecdotes. Mama pulls out some old-time pictures of young Huntress in black and white, holding bloodied animal corpses with a chilling dead eye stare. You all laugh and eat raw meat of some kind. It's a lovely time, almost like you're back home. You've forgotten that you're possibly on a cursed island atop what is likely some sort of hellmouth. Look, that's not the official lore. Look, look, if that's not official lore, I just call it like I see it. Every so often, Mama Huntress clutches her stomach and her eyes stare into the middle distance. She mutters something, there's some sounds, as if reliving the moment she was skewered by an elk. It's very grim. I like you. Thank you for indulging me in my tea and stories. So tell me, what are your intentions with my... I don't know how to pronounce that. That means bunny, but you guessed that already, didn't you? Or, or by now you've gotten your translator app ready. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh... To start a family? Hmm... I don't need to keep her safe because she's strong, so... Scratch that off. Take it slow. I kind of want to say start a family together. Deep on the W. Or she's keeping you safe. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to say start a f Hold on. Oh, no! I can't save the game! Now well, it's my minus family. To forge our own... Oh, in forest dwelling with a blood, with a brood of a half a dozen at least, hunting side by side forever. Mama Hunter smiles at you. She reaches under her bloodied cloak and pulls out a handkerchief with a flower on it. For you, the one worthy of my Anna. Please use, who, please use it to clean your hedge to viscera, the viscera. Take the handkerchief. It's soft and smells of spices. I'll take good care of this. You point to Huntress. Her, on the other hand, she can take care of herself. <laughs> Huntress is ecstatic. You've won over Mama. No easy task. My time on this plane is coming to an end. The weird magic from that ghost girl's black lighthouse won't keep me here for long. I don't want to get into the logic of this, but yeah, the black lighthouse can bring ghosts back to life. If you're still here, you're willing to believe anything. It was Spirit who brought you back? You'll have to thank her. Huntress's mama begins to fade. Huntress cries. You can picture her, as, her at a six year you can picture her at six years old, lying over her mother's dead body. I fully support this union. I fully support <laughs> I tried to read that off as me. I fully support this union. I feel good leaving my daughter on, on this cruel earth with you. You share a meaningful look with the mother of your beloved. Mama Huntress fades away, leaving you and Huntress alone again. Not a second later, Claudia and Dwight storm back in. Never alone, went for too long on this island. It's time for a dramatic scene between the lovers! Shall we adjourn to the forest clearing for ambience? Joy. You and Huntress stand holding hands in the forest clearing. Dwight and Claudia watch your interactions closely. Too closely. Hey, I really love hanging out with you. I think... I think it's time. Time? Time for... Oh, my. Okay, okay, I'm ready for this. Time for you to call me by my real name, like my mother does. Will you call me Anna? Oh, that, yeah, of course. I think Anna's a beautiful name. You're a beautiful person, Anna. Navi, do you know what I'd like to do right now? With you, beneath the moonlight? I'm feeling closer to you than I have ever have before. There's nothing I'd rather do now than... She averts her eyes. Does this mean what do you think she means? Nope. She's looking right at Dwight and Claudette. Chop up these two fools with you. Uh, absolutely! <laughs> my, hatch is, my hatch is as sharp as my love for you. Let's get bloody. <laughs> oh my god, we killed them! <laughs> it's a gruesome scene, but you and Huntress go to town on these innocent survivors who just wanted to help you guys out. <laughs> I killed them. We were being forced to help you. I can't hear you, hon, on account of the con congealing blood in your mouth. Ugh. 
Once you made quite a mess of survivors, you and Huntress look at each other with manic with manic eyes. So I return to the cabin? I'd love to get to get you out of that beach burn and it's only a little less there. I thought you'd never ask. Oh. Once inside the cabin, Huntress strips off her ca her captain, revealing every curve of her muscled bod. Oh. You follow her lead, disrobing for the first time since waking up here on the island. Yeah, you've been sleeping in your clothes. No judgment. It's a strange new place. You kiss. And yes, if you're wondering, it looks like she's got to keep the bunny mask on for this sexy time. <laughs> ah! I need an adult. <laughs> it's the part where I skedaddle. Decapitations? Sure. Tiger mullings? Love it. Dudes crushing other dudes in car crushes? Gotta have it. But hanky panky? That I can't handle. I'll leave you horny kids to it. Ah, je ne Kiss this ball. I don't know how to pronounce that. What? Just because Hunter speaks Russian doesn't mean I do. I speak Canadian French. It's a thing. Look it up. Am I nervously running my mouth on oh, now just to give you two time alone in the dark? Maybe. Stop me if you've heard this one. A hillbilly, a doctor, and a clown walk to a bar. Fine, we'll get back to it. Post doing it, you and Hunter slide together in the warmth of the fire. Everything is so perfect. <laughs> Sorry, things got weird, Astra. You imagine Mama Hunter smiling down at you from above. Then you realize that's pretty gross to a matter of <laughs> having just watched all of that, you try to stop thinking about it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that was incredible. You're telling me. The door to the cabin creaks open. Cover yourself with a blanket. Oh god, a severed arm claws its way through the doorway, leaving a trail of blood in its wake. No, we've walked right into the scene from a horror film. As soon as people have sex, they die. Not when I'm around. I just procures a hatchet from out of nowhere. Was that in bed with you guys? The wrinkling torsos of Dwight and Claudette follow their chopped up limbs, slowly the pieces of their bodies have to put themselves back together. I love this so much. No way. What the fuck indeed, my friend? You thought this island would let us die permanently? You ever played Dead by Daylight? Come on. We have to get one to the final scene. I mean decision. I fucking love this game. Claudette and Dwight lead you and Huntress back to the empty beach. You both both bask in the glory of being freshly laid. That... What did not need to be said. At all. <laughs> I objectively think we could have gone the, this entire game without that sentence being that said. Sounds terrible, doesn't it? Like some sort of laundry detergent. Freshly laid. Actually, maybe that's good. I'll get my agent to start circulating that. The island is strangely quiet. No sarcastic remarks. Disgusting ju disguising a broken young woman from spirit. No strange wide-eyed stare from the lonely and the socially awkward wraith. No threats of imminent violence from Trapper. Even Claudette and Dwight are tight-lipped. They seem almost... zombified. Last day, you beautiful piece of meat. You've done so well. We're almost at the finish line. You didn't think I brought you all this way without a plan, did you? What kind of sinister body of salt water do you think I am? A whoosh of dark energy surrounds you and disappears as quickly as it comes. The island noises begin to return. Birds chirp in the trees. The grass rustles in the light breeze. And oh look! The other killers are all here at the fire pit watch, to watch the final finale ceremony. I can't wait any longer. The pomp and circumstance is agonizing. You're telling me? Stick to the script, Claudette. Okay, so Hunters, how do you feel about the newcomer? Are they everything your murderous little heart has, long has ever longed for? Huntress stares you down for an agonizing moment. She steps towards you. My dear, I think that this is true love. Come with me to the red forest. Let's hunt woods. Let's hunt the woods together and have a family bursting with babies. We'll raise them as fierce as warriors who can defend their family and home. In just a matter of days, you've got to be completely alone to being the start of a clan of warriors. I did not see that coming, but I fucking love it. <laughs> Wraith starts a slow clap. No one joins in. Typical. What a Whatever. Love is a concept made by the greeting card in by the greeting card industry. I'm out of here. Spirit floats back to her black lighthouse. Look behind you. It's Trapper. Huntress, you bested me. He turns to you and offers his leathery hand for a head and shake. Congratulations, Navi. I don't shake hands with loot. I don't shake hands with losers. Oh! <laughs> Trapper's eyebrows shoot up, and then he smiles. Did not see that one coming. You're alright, kid. I mean, I hate you completely. I want to kill you mercilessly, but you're alright. Oh, wait, you haven't said anything to Huntress. I love you too! I love you too. Yes, let's move to the Red Force immediately. Is 12 kids too many? Maybe this economy, but who cares? 
heart is overflowing with joy as you and Huntress embrace. Is this what you've been missing your whole life? A woman with shoulders the size of mountains who won't take off her bunny mask even during intimate times? Yes! Yes! A thousand times yes! You stare at the sunset of a picture and picture your life together. Happiness is real. Oh! Hundred. Oh God! What the? Yes. Oh. <laughs> While telling you this, Huntress has left her bathing suit behind and entered the jungle. You haven't lived until you've been out and one with nature. Rar. Case Huntress in the woods, leaving your own bathing suit behind. Oh God. Okay. That happened. Brain daddy, uh, yes. Woo! We beat it. <laughs> so that was that. So I have toyed the idea of playing, of playing this again and going for spirit. Do we do that or do we just like stop now? Have a short stream for the day, huh? Eh? What's the chat got for me? Oh, to not playing this game again? We already know the others ain't gonna be this good. I mean, true, but I mean, we we won't know until we try. Who knows? Maybe spirit. Maybe the spirit's surprisingly good, or maybe Wraith is secretly the soft boy we've all been waiting for. So I mean, the possibilities exist. I think it's just you and me, Senpai, all things considered. Hey, how long are these fucking credits? Because I generally can't pick between stuff right now. This game isn't that long, so I could... This could just be a thing we start up again. Wraith and the lore isn't exactly a bad dude. He just did his job, and unfortunately, he killed people without knowing. Aw. Poor Wraith. Heh. <laughs> Goodness gracious, how long are these... How many credits do you have for a fucking dating sim? It's a visual novel. Amine, I almost heard that as anime. Also, another reminder for everyone. I'm not sure what I'm streaming tomorrow. So, if anyone has suggestions, please tell me. I, It has been suggested to me to do Scream Fortress 2. But I'm only willing to do TF2 right now if I can get some friends together. So, either all my friends start saying, Hey, yeah, I'll be willing to play it this time. Or, I get some other suggestions. So that's presently where I'm at with finding a thing to play tomorrow for Friday the 13th. For a fucking visual novel, this game has way too many people making this, making this game. Uh, yeah. How many copyrights are in this game? I thought y'all said you couldn't get the IP branded characters. What the fuck? <laughs> that was a lot of copyrights. So yeah, that was Dead by Dead Dating Sim. I think we'll do another playthrough of this, but we'll probably do it next week, because I got some stuff I could be doing at home. So we'll make this a rather short stream. I say short, uh, you know, 40 minutes is short for me, I guess. So prepare a raid in the meantime. We'll go raid. BT. Okay. So I hope you all have a great day, and I, I know it's just shorter than they normally are, but I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I will see you all tomorrow with whatever it is that is currently planned i have no idea my current idea is just friday 13th for the nes because you know that's tomorrow but you know who, who knows maybe i'll get a number of people to say hey we're willing to play tf2 or maybe maybe not maybe i can get some people together and play some dead by daylight that would be fitting but i don't know if anyone would be willing to play we'll find it we'll figure this out
Meantime, I hope you have a great day. I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.